Speedway. Good morning to you, Becca. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, and like I said, it's a big weekend for you guys. Yes, it really is. So uh, three big days of racing at Dakota Speedway starting off on Thursday, June 1st. We'll have practice so all the drivers can come over and uh, tr practice, turn some laps, get their cars adjusted for a big weekend of racing that officially starts on Friday, June 2nd. Absolutely, and that starts with the Ironman 100. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just a race that you just get into, you just sign up, I can't come, and just sign up. So you got to kind of earn your way into this. So can you tell exactly. me how, how that works? Yeah, so Friday we'll kick off racing with our Wasota Street Stocks in Inex Legends. They'll be racing uh, for increased payouts, and they'll also we're also going to tack on some extra laps for them. So they'll be racing a little bit longer than they normally do. And then our IMC and Modifieds, this is a big weekend for them. They will draw for a starting position on Friday, and then they will race in their heat races. Those are basically their pr pr preliminary races. Mm -hmm. And the more cars they finish, or uh, the more cars that they pass, the higher they'll start in their qualifying features. And then we'll have two qualifying features for $1,000 to win, I believe. And how they finish in those two qualifying features is how they're going to line up for the big race on Saturday, June 3rd. Interesting. So uh, the more cars you pass, the better you finish and then that's the better starting position Correct. you get. So, Correct. And then it's 100 laps, is that right? Yes, on Saturday for the IMC Modifieds, it's gonna be 100 laps, oh, which is a really big, long, grueling race. And obviously these Modifieds, they can't race 100 laps uh, with, without having to stop and refill fuel. So somewhere around halfway, um, 50, 50 lap mark, yeah. we will stop, have a pit stop, we'll bring the cars right out front in front of the grandstands, in front of the fans, and then they'll get to watch the drivers put fuel in the car, put some tear-offs on, and if the drivers want, they can uh, change tires, make adjustments to make their cars go faster for the last half of the race, and then we'll let them go again, and whoever wins, wins yeah. five thousand dollars wow so there is money at stake yeah there, there is there is a little bit of a prize yes. so but it's interesting when so when that halfway mark hits uh, if you choose to like make uh, changes or something to your car, you don't get to keep your spot. Is no. that correct? You have to go to the back of the line. Yes, you do. So it, that's where strategy comes into play. Drivers either have to decide, hey, I have a really good, uh, I'm running really well where I'm at right now. I'll just put some fuel and tear offs and hope for the best. Or if you're a driver that's maybe farther in the back of the mm -hmm. pack, you may want to put oh, some fresh sure. tires on. You may want to make some adjustments to make the car faster for the second half of the race. So. And not only does the cars change throughout the, because this is, this is such a long race, the yeah. cars are going to change, the track is also going to change as well oh, because sure. yep. with all the cars and the laps, you're going to put some extra rubber on the dirt, so the track is going to change. So the drivers are always going to be searching for that speed, that grip, and then, yeah, that's what really makes it just a really long, grueling race. Yeah, interesting. So there is a lot more thought and stuff that goes in than just go as fast as you can for as long as you can. Exactly, yes. Interesting. So, um, there's, so how does uh, the, the placement work then for that? So you, you take a break at the 50-ish, and mm -hmm. then is the, so when, they, when you take that halfway break, is it just so that the drivers don't know quite what lap they're on? So The drivers won't know when that, that the halfway point will be. It could be lap 48 that will throw the caution and bring them up front in front of the grandstands, or it could be like lap 55. So the drivers don't know, they just know that somewhere around half, uh, halfway there will be a caution, we'll, we'll, and then we'll bring them up front, and then yeah, that's where they have the choice to either just put fuel in the car or they can make changes to the car and then if they do just elect to make changes we'll put them in the back of the pack so sure interesting so we keep an eye on them yeah good you got to keep them in line yes no, no one gets, gets an advantage without paying the price if you're going to change the tires exactly so, uh very interesting so there is prize money at stake yes um and so is it just first place that gets the five thousand dollars correct first the first driver to cross the finish line at lap 100 will take home five thousand dollars to win interesting so if you ain't first your last just like basically yes <laughs> nobody remembers second place you yeah. gotta win. <laughs> very good so if somebody is interested and they want more information or uh, where can they go or who can who can they contact uh, you can definitely find out all that is this information and more at dakotaspeedway.com you can check out our Facebook and social media channels uh, facebook.com slash Dakota Speedway we're also on Instagram and Twitter all of that, all of those places will have tons of information and more wonderful well thank you so much for joining us Becca thank we you. really appreciated you sharing your knowledge and uh, volunteering 
spending your time out there. So thank yes. you. Those types of events don't just happen. No, so. they don't. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Becca. Yes, thank you. And thank you for joining us. Stay with us. We'll have more North Dakota Today right after this.